Here's how to accurately measure the angle of the top slide. Either accurately measure it or set it to a specific angle. Um, I've got this set up at roughly one degrees, which is the angle I'm aiming for. And I'm simply going to turn two diameters on a scrap piece of metal at uh, two positions of the top slide a known distance apart. So I'm going to turn a diameter with the top slide at this position, then I'm going to wind it in, in this case 30 millimeters, and then turn another diameter which will be less because the, the top slide is angled this way. From the two diameters and the distance the top slide has been moved, we can then work out with some trigonometry what the actual angle is. So, I'll try and film and do this at the same time. So, we have the, the top slide uh, dial set to zero here, and we're ready to turn our large diameter. That's that diameter there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I've already turned this before, so I'll move the tool in just a little bit and uh, we can do this. <laughs> We back it out, we don't touch the cross slide. In actual fact, you can, as long as you remember to set it back to the same position each time. So just to be on the safe side, I've zeroed the cross slide here, in case I lose the position. So we've turned our large diameter. I'm now going to wind this in 30 millimeters, And I know that every turn is um, 2 millimeters for this particular top slide, so it's 2 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Aligned exactly on the zero. So that will have moved the tool further in, so we're now going to turn the small diameter. Our cross slide is still at zero, so here we go. Okay. So now let's measure the difference in these two diameters. I'll set the camera up on the tripod for that. Okay, so we first measure the small diameter, say. I'm using a micrometer, but you could use a pair of calipers as well. Ten point six five eight. And uh, now these micrometers have a relative mode, so we can just go to relative mode and then measure the large diameter. So the large diameter, if you can see the scale, is 1.204 millimeters larger than the small diameter. Let's now go and do some trigonometry to calculate the angle. So here's what we've got. We moved the top slide a distance of L along the diagonal and we turn two diameters, D1 and D2. So, in this triangle here, which is a, a right-angled triangle, the length of that side is D2 minus D1 divided by 2. That's half the difference in diameters. Let's call the difference in diameters delta D over 2. We want to know what that angle there, theta, is. So sine theta 
is delta d over 2 over L, the length of the hypotenuse. Or rearranging theta is arc sine of delta d over 2L. Alternatively, if you want to find what delta d will give you a particular angle, you rearrange it to that form. So, our difference in diameter was 1.204 millimetres, and we moved the top slide a distance of 30 millimetres, so the angle theta will be 1.15 degrees. Now that is too large, I'm aiming for 1 degree final angle, so we need to move the top slide slightly to reduce the angle. The actual difference in diameter that we need is going to be, from this expression, 2 times 30 millimetres times sine of 1 degree, which is 2 times 30 times sine of 1 degree is 1.05, say, millimetres of difference. So we just play around with the top slide position until we get it turning those two diameters with that uh, difference. This is a very accurate method of setting the top slide, albeit a bit by trial and error. I hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.